In this video, I'm going to show you how to configure the fields that display on the registration page. So if we go to Body Boss Profiles, you can see we can configure the profile fields. It's going to come with three fields that are required. First name, last name, and nickname. And those are what go here, first name, last name, and nickname. And we require those for the system to work. Basically, if I go to my profile to view it on the front end, you can see I have first name, last name, and nickname. My nickname is used as my handle. So if you're familiar with, like on Twitter, you can at mention people. Same thing here, you could at someone in their timeline, could write at Michael and I'll get it. And I can change my nickname anytime I want. And then I have my first name and last name. So if I go to settings, profiles, based on that data, I can assign how I want users to profiles to be viewed. So I could say first and last name, and now it's going to show me like this everywhere throughout the network in my timeline everywhere. Or I could say nickname. And now this is going to show my handle, my nickname. The reason we add this is because in the past, a lot of our customers have requested these kinds of things. As I've mentioned in other videos, BuddyBoss platform is a fork of BuddyPress. In BuddyPress, you can't do this. You just have one name field, which is not very flexible. If you have a corporate site, some kind of internet, you might want the full name displayed. If it's... Um, a site where you don't where you want people to be anonymous you might just want their nickname and you can make these private and in probably most cases you just want the first name but this leaves things very flexible and it also allows everything to sync properly from the back end so like in BuddyPress, press th these fields never properly synced with the front end they're always in conflict with each other but now i can you know go like this and save it and it's going to update here and I can edit it from here. And save it. And it's going to sync with the WordPress user data. So now everything actually makes sense. And we have full data. And so when the user registers, they're going to put first name, last name and nickname. And these details are used to pre-fill that and the nickname creates their kind of social handle and also creates the URL for their profile. So for example, if I, if I put John as my nickname, then in the URL, it's going to be John. And the user can't ever change this later because it would corrupt data throughout WordPress, but they can change it. That basically they can't change that URL, but they can at least change their nickname that is publicly visible and used as their handle everywhere. So then if I go back into uh, body boss, profiles, I can edit some stuff with here so I can change, it says first name, I can change the info there, you know, to a different language or some other text. I can also write kind of helper text like, what's your first name if I wanted to. And now it's going to ask that here and it's going to ask it when they're editing their profile, but when you view their profile, it will still just say first name, meaning when you view it on the front end. And then I mentioned how you can change the visibility. So I could set it to be, for example, only me. And that means only the logged in user can see their first name. No one else can. For example, if you wanted to have a network where everyone was anonymous, you can make it only me. And then under settings, profiles, we could set this to be nickname. And then it basically hides, hides the first and last name from everyone, if that's important to you. So that's how those fields work. And then email and password, these are not profile fields. These are coming from WordPress itself. In WordPress, to create a user, even through the admin, at minimum, it requires an email and password. So these are not profile fields. These are set up through WordPress. So over here, if I go to uh, components and activate account settings, then what this is going to do is allow the user later to go to account and they can go to login information. And from there, they can edit their email and they can edit their password. So then you might be wondering, how do I add more fields into this register form? And that's very easy to do. We come back here and go to BodyWise Profiles and we see Profile Fields. So in here, we can add multiple field sets. Anything that's in this default details field set is what's going to show up on here. So I could click Add New Field and we have different options. I'll go through this more in the Profile Field section, but let's just say Text Box. And I'll just say favorite color. 
Okay. So now we can see that that's in this first section. And when I go back here and refresh, we can see that's one of the things that's being asked of them. And it says optional, so they don't, do not need to fill it out. When I edit this, I could make the requirement be required. And now it's required. And that's it.